Welcome to the Pomodzi Inspirational Women of Portsmouth Awards podcast. I'm Hannah Roper, founder and director of the Female Creative Coaching and Mentoring, creating a safe space for independent businesses to reduce the overwhelm, gain clarity and meet their goals with intention and confidence. Pomodzi means together and that is the ethos behind the Inspirational Women of Portsmouth Awards. We are bringing together Portsmouth and the surrounding area, celebrating the women who positively impact their tribe and contribute to their community. We really hope you enjoy this series of podcast interviews, which introduces some of the wonderful supporters of this year's event. In this episode, I am speaking to Becky Lodge. 2022 event sponsor Becky is a degree and CIM qualified entrepreneur and company director, one of Tech Round's Women in Tech to Watch in 2022 and awarded as one of Sky News' 100 Women in Business in 2018. Becky founded her business, Little Kanga Limited, a management consulting firm that helps universities and governments with strategies around business and startup growth from her kitchen table. And in 2016, she founded Startup Disruptors, an online business incubation community and social media brand that has helped over 5,000 people to start businesses, aiding them to raise over 2 million in funding for their journeys. Becky is also neurodiverse and has spoken openly about the barriers that women and neurodiverse women especially face in business and has set out to change the landscape for others. So let's get started. Welcome, Becky. Thank you so much for joining us for the Pomodzi Inspirational Women of Portsmouth Awards podcast. So let's jump straight in. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Becky Lodge. I'm the founder of Little Kanga Limited and also digital online incubation startup community, Startup Disruptors. Thank you. So as you know, Pomodzi is all about bringing people together to celebrate the inspirational women of Portsmouth and the positive impact that they have on their community. So tell us about the activities that you are doing to empower women in Portsmouth. Ooh, where do I begin? Um, so in 2015, I founded my business, Little Kanga, from the kitchen table in Gosport. And since then, I've helped over 5,000 people to start a business, uh, raising over £2 million for them. Um, with specific regard to women, I'm a huge, as everybody knows, huge advocate of women in Portsmouth and also nationally. And I was recognised for this work by um, Sky News in 2018. And nobody was more surprised than me, to be totally honest. Um, But really, it's critical that we get um, women taken more seriously in every walk of life. But certainly within business, gender parity is very, very close to my heart. Always has been, always will be. Um, And I think it's critical that we actually help one another rather than compete against one another so that's what really drives me and that's what I sort of get out of bed for every every day of my life oh fantastic and we need women like yourself who who are championing other women because like you say it is about supporting each other rather than competing with each other so tell me what does supporting Pomodzi mean to you Do you know what? I think one of the most disappointing things that I heard in 2017, because I'm a bit of a stats geek, as everybody knows, um, was reading a report by the esteemed accounting firm Grant Thornton saying that Portsmouth was top 20% in the country for innovation in terms of its economy, but bottom 20% for inclusion and diversity. And I had firsthand uh, been on the the sharp end of um, some very disparaging comments Uh, also experienced a lot of virtual head patting and as an international sales and marketing director with 31 years experience this year um, I was incredibly disappointed that there seemed to be this view of women especially um, being maybe confined to the kitchen sink still there's a lot of of this type of behavior that we saw um, both locally and nationally still in the UK regions So actually looking at inclusion is critical. So we actually help neurodiverse people, their allies, women and minorities to thrive at Startup Disruptors. That's what we've always been about. 
I was born in inner city Leicester in 1971 and I was brought up in a very inclusive community, very diverse community. If anybody's familiar with Leicester and never been there, they they know how uh, diverse and inclusive that community is. Imagine my shock uh, moving to the south coast Mm. and moving to, to somewhere like Portsmouth, which is the polar opposite in many ways. But what I didn't want to do was actually say this is about men versus women because actually fracturing society doesn't actually help. I think for me this is about parity and inclusion. And being equal doesn't mean that somebody has to have less. Yeah, And I think that people need to understand that. But specifically with Pamodzi, I, I, I want to be able to help. I can see... I can improve something, so I want to help. It doesn't matter to me if somebody comes from an area of deprivation. It doesn't matter to me if somebody is has been born into money. In, what matters is that person's idea, the trajectory that they can have, how that business idea can grow and how the, the whole community can thrive. And we just have a better society, if that's the case. So I think supporting Ronnie and supporting women and supporting one another in this city as I said before, should be absolutely what everybody's doing. And we need to see more of that. Thank you so much. And many of the nominees of the Pomodzi Inspirational Women of Portsmouth Awards have overcome many a challenge, which has inspired them to do what they do. And you have hinted so far some of the challenges that, that you've had throughout your career. But tell us about a challenge that you have had to overcome and more importantly, what it taught you. Um, I think it's no secret because I did a very big interview in the Portsmouth News this last year that I'm neurodiverse. I probably uh, have always known that I'm different um, in terms of being a top 1% sales performer. Um, I just thought everybody's life was the same as mine, which sounds very naive, but it's true when you're in that bubble for a long time. Um, I'm very target orientated, very analytical, um, very geeky. I was bullied relentlessly at school for my geekery. Um, But to me, it's always been about how you learn, how you improve yourself. And I just love learning. So neurodiversity takes many forms. My sister has very bad dyslexia and, and was bullied at school because of her dyslexia. So I think those barriers just teach you very early to become more resilient Mm. and I think that you get to a stage of not caring what people think because you've had to put up with it your whole life but again I do say to people it's very hard because neurodiverse people can also have very severe mental health problems if they're under a potential amount of stress Mm. and have to mask and fit into society so having that balance in our community especially in our partnership with Solent Mind was about how we balance entrepreneurship with mental health as well but to me um, I suppose my mum has always said that from day one (laughs) I was riding in the pram with two fingers up to society (laughs) and I think she she's probably right but if we look at all of the people that we admire in life they are very binary they tend to be we see something that they stand for and we want to follow them and I don't think that trying to fit in you know, when you were born to stand out, to to use quite a cheesy phrase, um, is worth it. And I think that neurodiverse children, especially in school, are told, you know, to behave, told to actually mask up all of their fantastic creative energy. Mm. And the education system being 100 years old is woefully out of date. So part of what we're doing at Startup Disruptors is disrupting and creating an entrepreneurship educational alternative, which eventually we'll put put into schools across the UK as our plan. And we're working with universities and colleges on that at the moment. So again, that experience of the thing that you might find difficult when you're younger can actually be the making of you in later life. But it's just staying on the bus. <laughs> in the meantime is really hard Um, and I think there's a double whammy of you know being female with that with all the funding barriers that there are in business for women especially so if you're used to the whole of the tide being against you I think you can definitely sort of stand up and fight for yourself and and we have to do that together Mm. because the only power you have is in the community that you serve and that you help and they will support you. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. And thank you so much for coming in and joining us today. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Now, before we finish, 
tell us where people can find out more about you and the incredible work that you're doing. Yeah, so on LinkedIn, uh, for anybody in business, uh, please just search Becky Lodge and and, uh, connect with me. Also, if you just Google Startup Disruptors, which is spelt uh, with an ORS, the American way, um, or Little Kanga, then uh, Google it. You'll find me everywhere, all over social media. Uh, We're very active. Uh, That's how we built our brand um, on Startup Disruptors. So, yeah, it would be great to hear from anybody like mine or if we can support anybody in the future we would love to do that that's what we're here for so thank you so much for having me oh no the pleasure is all ours so we are coming to the end of the episode and before we finish off completely i have two further questions for you the first one is who inspires you do you know what? When I looked at this question, I had to actually have a list and try and pick who it was because there's so many different people. But I think if we're going to look at um, something that's really close to my heart, I actually picked up a leaflet about um, the fantastic trailblazer in politics, Nancy Astor, who was the first female MP in Britain, who uh, described her experience in Parliament when she stood up and talked as being a bit of a freak. And I think that anybody who's neurodiverse always feels that way, that whatever it is that they're doing, although if they're trailblazing, especially women who are trailblazing, I think if you've not seen her amazing work, I would uh, check her out. Um, Phenomenal woman, didn't put up with any stuff. Um, (laughs) So (laughs) never really have to be quite careful if it's going out publicly. Uh, She wouldn't put up with any, any stuff. And literally, I would say... I look at her and I think, wow, she was facing this in, you know, 19, 1900s and we're still facing the same problems today. Mm-hmm. So we can see that there's somebody inspirational that's gone before who changed things. Yeah. So that gives me hope. Thank you. And the last question, who would be your most inspirational dinner guest, past or present? Oh, do you know what? I don't know. It's hard, it's, it's isn't a, it? It's a, it's a really tough one. Um, there's so many people that I, that I could choose. But do you know what? I think actually it would be my nan. Oh. I'd choose my nan because in her own way, she was a phenomenal trailblazer. She was born in the valleys of South Wales. She had no food growing up, no shoes. Um, she educated herself to become a midwife. Um, she left school with very few qualifications because education wasn't accessible in the same way. Um, and she was my inspiration. And one of the things that I would say to any woman listening is she used to say this to me, and I think she was right. Just remember, Becky, you're as good as anybody else out there, if not better. Just hold on to that thought in everything that you do in life and you'll get anything that you want. So I think that would be the person that I would choose to uh, have at the dinner table again. And what a powerful life lesson to, to have from somebody so close to you. That's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your story and your experience. And thank you for inspiring us here today. And thank you to everyone for listening. What a fantastic interview. Just a reminder that the Pomodzi Inspirational Women of Portsmouth Awards is at Portsmouth Guildhall on Friday, the 10th of March, 2023. If you would like to find out more about the event, buy a ticket or nominate Who Inspires You, then please head to our website, www.pomodzicreatives.com or our Instagram, which is at Pomodzi underscore creatives or Facebook and LinkedIn, Pomodzi Creatives. Thank you once again for listening to these podcasts and we will see you at the event in March.